Hello and welcome to the 24th day of the 40 days of prayer. I hope you have received a blessing and hope you are being a blessing to the world. And today is a very special day in our country. It is election day. And first of all, I think it would be very important for us to pray today for everyone's wisdom, for everyone's safety, and many prayers of thanksgiving that we get to live in a place where we get to express our thoughts and through our own discernment select our leaders and hold our leaders accountable. Uh, the day, the scripture today is Psalm 25, 4. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Remember, yesterday I talked about listening, and that's a part of this waiting. But today we're also listening for a bigger picture. We are trying to discern the will of God for a huge community, a country, that has implications beyond our own country. And it is just possible, uh, I could be proven wrong before the day is over, but it is just possible that if we took all of our good Christians, all who really are taking prayer seriously, all who really spend time in the Word, all who really take time listening for the Spirit, it is just possible that when they go to the polls today, they might not cast all their ballots exactly the same way. It is just possible that even when we pray and discern the will of God, we might come out at different places on certain issues. And therein comes the question of love. Do we love God enough? Do we love our brothers and sisters enough to, to trust that this is what I discern to be the will of God, but it's just possible I might not be 100% right and that there's something much bigger going on that's beyond me and just beyond my own ability uh, to discern the will of God. It is important, hear this, it is important and a blessing to sometimes, to periodically, make a mistake when you discern the will of God. Because if we discerned the will of God perfectly and accurately, 100% every time, I dare say we'd become pretty arrogant, conceited people. And our love would probably go right out the window. We would find ourselves stopping our listening skills and just trusting what I personally think. When I was graduating high school, I decided I wanted to go to the Coast Guard Academy. I had other options for school, but I wanted the Coast Guard Academy. Well, my eyesight didn't qualify. You know, I wear thick glasses, and I can imagine that if somebody's coming to save me in the middle of the ocean, that I might hope that they have good eyesight. But I read in the Bible, Ask and you shall receive. So I asked, even though I had been turned down, I asked for a waiver and I got it. I told the Lord what I wanted instead of discerning the will of God. Coast Guard Academy is an incredible school, fantastic school. Have great respect and love for that place but it clearly didn't fit my personality or anything about me. I clearly was not called to be there. But that is the place where I heard my call to ordained ministry. I made a mistake. I let my arrogance tell God, lead God instead of God leading me. And even though I made a mistake, God used it to bless me. As you go to the polls today, cast your ballots and pray before you do.
And then remember, the people that disagree with you, they very well might be good praying Christians as well also. We're all just trying to find our way. So as you stand in that line today, be a blessing to all the people around you.